it's so hot in Dubai. Like, how can my dog cope with this kind of weather? That was my exact thought before I moved to Dubai. The rest of the six months is summer in Dubai. It's not just hot, it's also so humid. That kind of heat, warm air everywhere. My biggest fear during summer season is heat stroke. Good day everyone and welcome back to the channel. It's been a very hot hot minute since we had the sit down chat. So Bear has had his summer cooked facial handsome. Hey, so handsome. Okay, do you mind going up here instead? Can you go up here? Can you go up here, dear? Up, 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 up. Yes, sit down. Sit down. Very good boy. Oh, can you stay there while mommy talk to our friends? Is it okay? Let them see how handsome you are. See? Here. <laughs> so handsome. So handsome. I relocated with my dog there to Dubai over a year ago. Just like that. We are now on our second experience of Dubai summer season. Everything else, Dubai is such an amazing country. We are so happy to be living here. And there's so much more positive things that outweighs the challenging parts. Dubai features a tropical desert climate and there's only two seasons. First is winter, which starts around mid-October and you would feel the cool wind up until mid-April. But actually this year, it was still a bit cool even up to the first week of May. The rest of the six months is summer in Dubai. Now don't panic just yet. There's actually different leveling of Dubai summer. So in the early months of summer, April, May, and even the early, early months of June, you'd be surprised that the weather is still tolerable. I've lived in a tropical country, Malaysia, Philippines. That's why I'm able to say with conviction that it's tolerable heat. Now, the real hot, hot, hot <laughs> summer in Dubai, you feel it around July. August is actually the peak of the summer. It's the hottest month. And that's when usually a lot of people are either hibernating in their homes, chilling with their air conditioning, <laughs> or they go overseas, they travel, or go back to their home countries. Just so you have a bit of an idea of how hot it can feel because it's not just hot, it's also so humid. The minute you step out, you immediately feel yucky. <laughs> and one way to describe the air that you experience when you step out of the house of air conditioning is when you're baking when you try and open the oven while it's baking you feel hot air that's exactly what we experience here in dubai that kind of heat warm air everywhere for a couple of months so there's no escaping of that. Summer is not new in Dubai. The whole nation has been living in this environment for, for a long time already. They have found ways to make sure that the living condition is safe and bearable for the residents. I'm gonna share to you the things that I've learned along the way based on my research and talking to other people as well who has been living here in Dubai for quite some time. Number one, make sure to keep your dog hydrated. After, regardless of the temperature, of the season, of the climate, you need to keep your dogs hydrated, especially during the summer. So when you go out for walks, just make sure to have their water bottle in hand all the time. And at home, there are a lot of dog friendly recipes that you can use to create like a Greek yogurt 
ice cream or um, fruit popsicles that they can nibble on and for bear he really enjoys cold fruits so opt for fruits that's really rich in water like watermelon melon and dragon fruit bear loves those fruits the challenge with bear is he's he's not a very big water drinker so i try to be very creative on how i can make sure he's hydrated especially during the summer season next please make sure that you provide a safe cool environment for your dog don't leave them outside please take care of your dog make sure you make arrangements for them before you travel or if you're gonna leave them in the house leave them inside the house with the air conditioning with access to water so please 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 don't leave your dog outdoors unattended for a long period of time Walking your dog out during the summer season can be tricky, but it is manageable. I personally would go out to my balcony first, stay there for a couple of minutes, and assess whether can I tolerate this temperature? Do I feel safe to go out in this temperature, in this humidity? And that's the only time that I would go out. In fact, even after stepping out, Another thing that I do is I would physically put my toes, my feet on the cement just to assess whether if it's a temperature that I can manage to walk in barefoot. And that's when I know, okay, my dog can manage to walk in it. There are also other ways that you can protect your dog's paws. I know some people get their dogs those booties. They're cute booties or even like sticker pads. But I tried that with Bear, of course. Um, he didn't like it. <laughs> he doesn't like it. Uh, he actually had a funny <laughs> video of trying it on for the very first time when he was walking so funny but it makes the experience he does wear it he can he will wear it but it just ruins the walking experience because all he's worrying about is oh what are these things that are in my paws and my feet he doesn't feel comfortable at all there are ways to make sure that it's a safe walking activity for your dog another is actually i haven't tried it personally but i've seen it especially with big dogs uh like the cooling vest i think they dilute it in cool or cold water but not freezing because that also is bad for the dogs that's another thing that you can use to help make walking outside during summer in dubai bearable now what do you do during the august months when it's really really dangerously hot outside i remember last year we weren't going out for i think a whole month of august we would go out in the balcony but that's it. the rest of our activities were just indoors and of course it's also not good and not healthy for your dog dog walking helps stimulate your dog like sniffing actually it helps their brain get stimulated and you can trigger the same kind of emotion or feeling even indoors so one way to do it through interactive toys there's a lot of interactive toys like sniffing mat. I actually specifically bought a ball launcher for bear. I forgot what it's called. I'm gonna put the link in the description box below, but he loves it. <laughs> it's what also helped us uh, during the summer months. Another way of keeping your dog active is play with them. Allocate time to to play with them more frequently during summer i would have specific time i would set a timer for how often bear and i would play and how much tricks that we would do and i would teach him because you want to keep your dog stimulated it's bad for them to just sleep and lay in the couch <laughs> you need to keep them active and engaged and stimulated Dogs actually release heat through their paws. So imagine if they're releasing heat and then they're gonna walk 
in a hot pavement. It's bad. A more fun way that I've seen people do during summer is they buy mini pools for their dogs. You don't need to, to get a big one where they can actually swim. Just let them dilute their paws and feet into the water. Some people, I think people who own like big dogs, husky, uh, Alaskan Malamutes, they would even put in ice. <laughs> bags and bags of ice to help their dogs cool down. So that's another fun way. I might try that. I don't have the space in my balcony, but let's see. <laughs> Let's see. Let me know in the comment below if you've done a pool uh, for your pet and how it went. Like what I said, Dubai is amazing. You would be surprised because there are so many dog-friendly cafes and even daycare that has pools. Proper pool for dogs to swim and chill and cool during the summer season. There's a lot of daycare that you can go to. Bear goes to Spot South near Jebel Ali. We, we truly love them. They don't just get your dog tired, so it's an equal balance of stimulating them with activities and play and lots and lots of rest time. Google have a look at all the other doggy daycares and indoor dog friendly cafes that you can hang out with your dogs. My biggest fear during summer season is heat stroke, both for me and my dog, but mostly for, for my dog. Dog heat stroke often happens on a hot, humid day when he's in a place that doesn't have proper ventilation like cars even if the window is rolled down or not balcony so make sure to please please do not leave your dog unattended in those kind of spaces the very first sign of dog heat stroke is excessive panting or drooling dogs would normally just <laughs> like sometimes after a good play or a long walk or even running they would do that. So that's sign number one. If they're drooling, that's also another scary sign. Second sign you need to check right away is their heartbeat. Check their chest. Feel if their heartbeat is beating, rapidly beating. That's your second sign that your dog is having a heat stroke. Third sign is your dog becomes lethargic. They lose their sense of control, have difficulty standing up, you should really, really be scared at this point. Fourth thing you need to check is their gums and their tongue. If there are signs that it is extremely red, girl, <laughs> you need to rush to the vet right away. The last fifth sign which is already extreme is vomiting and diarrhea but even before it gets to that i mean with just the four signs already if it were me i would already rush actually no if it were me even just with the first two signs i would already rush my dog to the vet dog heat stroke is a medical emergency so please 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 rush your dog to the vet an immediate remedy that you can also do is move them to a cooler environment, offer them, provide them with fresh water to drink, and try to soak them with cool or cold water. Either you wrap them with a damp um, towel or hose them down with cold water. Cold and cool, but not freezing because that is also bad for them. Like what I've always said in the past, having a pet is a commitment. It's not something you do out of a whim. It's like having a real child whose life and well-being depends on you. So please, please make sure to provide a safe space for your pets and make sure that they're chilling their best life during the hot, hot summer weather in Dubai. Just as a disclaimer, I am not an expert 
these things that I'm sharing are based on my personal experience that worked for my dog and based also on my research. Thank you so much for being here. We really, really appreciate each and every one of you who takes their time to follow our journey. And it's just really sweet. I just want you to know that we really appreciate you and we love having you here with us. As always, if you like this video, make sure to hit thumbs up and subscribe. Leave us a comment below if you have other tips that you do for your dogs to help cope with hot summer weather not just in dubai and other countries as well i'm looking forward to hear and learn from you thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next one